the best organization I've seen as far, as far as gathering so many of us from different angles. But most of us just work with different small groups all over the place and uh, we're not that that organized. We don't have a head leader. We don't have uh, officers. We, yeah. we just each do the best we can wherever we can. We're kind of uh, increasing awareness, you know, consciousness. For of, three of, years, of I, I, I traveled with children that were from 18 to 24, beautiful young people. Debbie Goldsberry put together in Kentucky. And uh, they arranged for us to go through so many universities and not only give lectures on what we knew, but we also attended many lectures of professors who were very concerned uh, about the Nazism that they saw coming up as, as uh, disguised as a war on drugs. Uh, oh, we, really? Yeah, environmental professors also that were very concerned about the unnecessary destruction of the planet. Uh, theologists. Now, now, how does that relate to Nazism? Oh, the, that, the war on drugs? Yeah, yeah. Well, when you're not allowed to be honest with your children, and to do so may very well cost you to lose them because they're being brainwashed in, in school, and, and you can't really tell them the truth without risking losing those children who may accidentally, you know, at school fill out the wrong form or just uh, make the wrong pictures. and. This kind of thing was going on. Children have been taken away from parents um, because the, either the parents use the cannabis or there are cases in which children have avoided asthma attacks which were very regular, three or four times a month they were in the hospital, they started using cannabis and the attacks went away, but some of those parents have actually lost their children to the welfare system where they are having their attacks and things like that do go on. We were very fortunate to see the 48 hours and the, and the case of the violent child who is taking marijuana and the judge told that woman, you go home and take care of that child and make sure he has his medicine, meaning cannabis. So uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's very crazy, but yeah, uh, it's a medicine. When it was deemed illegal in, in 37, there was a letter from the, Amer the American Medical Association and the letter was written uh, by a man who had also been instrumental in drafting the Harrison Act, the, which was the first law on drugs, and he worked with the U.S. government. And I can't even think of his name this minute. Usually I know it, but temporary. Uh -huh. <laughs> not, not there right now. But the letter was very interesting because he was the head of the American Medical Association, as I said, and he stated that First of all, why were they changing the name of the plant to marijuana, the name that the rightful name was cannabis? He had investigated the reports that were uh, about this people going crazy and he found absolutely not a shred of evidence that that was true. Um, that sounds like you're getting a call here. Oh, I'm going to have to answer that call. I'm sorry. Yeah. the letter that was written by the American Medical Association uh -huh. and the, ma the man was concerned because the name had been changed but he said most of all that it would be a great disservice especially to the elderly and the children because of cannabis's non-addictive qualities this man was a genius he also noticed that it was going to cause a tremendous amount of hardship on the farmer to outlaw cannabis and uh -huh. of course we demolished him there is no such thing as a private farming anymore in the United States. It's so limited, it doesn't even count anymore. Well, Elvie, I know that uh, there's a whole group of people waiting for you downstairs and that you have to leave, but I want to ask you one last question. Sure. Is uh, for people uh, that might want to find out about you and your your music in particular, uh, is there a website that uh, that you're associated with? or? I, do, I don't have a website. I do have an email address. And what I will do is give you the card so you can put it there. It's uh, okay. Joan V1 at Juno.com. Well, Elvie, thank you so much thank for taking you. time to uh, be with us uh, here in Louisville, Kentucky. And best wishes uh, with your crusade, our crusade. Our crusade. And I just want to say thank you because you were asking me if I was. After working all the day, I'm 
moment comes when we really want to play and have some fun need a little relaxation to chill us out need a little recreation there can be no doubt I just want to get high want to fly into the sky I just want to let go I want you to know love you so I just want to get high I want to fly into the sky I just want to let go I oh, want you to know love you so After working all the day, a moment comes When we really want to play and have some fun Need a little relaxation to chill us out Need a little recreation there can be no doubt I just want to get high Want to fly the end of the sky I just want to let go I want you to know Love you so I Just wanna get high Wanna fly Into the sky I Just wanna let go I oh, want you to know Love you so I Just wanna get high Wanna fly The end of the sky I Just wanna let go I want you to know I love you so I just don't want to get high